Hey guys and welcome to another Polymer Clay tutorial. Today we are going to create the cuttlefish from Subnautica. After I created the Sea Dragon Leviathan in the last Subnautica tutorial, I just had the feeling that now it's time for a tube fish. And I think there's no better fish than the cuttlefish to create. I just love how he looks. He's just so adorable, <laughs> so cute. Somehow a mixture of a penguin and, I don't know, a cat maybe with his big eyes. But let's focus on the creation right now. All we need are these two colors, this ochre and this dark blue. And well, when we are mixing the outline, I just took a little bit of green and we will place it. And I will create a color gradient with that by just using my thumb. And you don't have to be very careful that it looks clean. It doesn't have to be clean as we are putting some dots, some different colored dots over the color gradient anyway and you will be amazed and surprised how easy and how great this will look. So I just love the end result of this funny color gradient with the dots. So now we are working on some further lines this is the part where the head is attached to the torso and now, well, there's this white line um, on top of the cuttlefish and there's also a color gradient I'm now creating. Um, I didn't want to just place the white onto the dark blue clay. This is why I put a slightly brighter blue um, in between. Okay, now let's make this thing around and then we can start creating all the other body parts. This is the part where the fins will be attached and they are made very easily. So just create two tiny fins and I also placed uh, two green dots on them for some detail work. And now we will place the fins right next to the torso and this will be the eyes so just create a very tiny hill and um, after that we are just creating some outlines with my pointing tool and after that preparing the part where the eye will be as I wanted um, the eye to have a black outline I first put in black then yellow then again black and this tiny white piece was for a shiny detail these are the nose holes also very easy with the pointing tool maybe I'll attach a link in the description if you want to buy this pointing tool and just place some black into the mouth now we can start creating the teeth as well. I didn't count the teeth, I, th I think I put in five. <laughs> Maybe I should have created six so that it is uh, divided by two, but well, I don't care. There are these four thorns and now, well, the body is almost finished. Only these tentacles, tentacles, is it right? I think it's pronounced tentacles, right? Um, well, they are missing, but let's first create the stand so that we can easily attach all the tentacles. We are mixing this gray for a stone on the stand as a tiny lovely detail. I just love creating these stems and put on some deco. So this will be some plants, um, they are called seaweeds and I made them pretty easy. So just place them onto the stand and it already looks great. I didn't mention my toothbrush, um, but it gives a nice texture to the ground. 
So this stand is finished. Now we can place the cuttlefish onto the wire. And now we can start attaching all the tentacles to the body. I found different and contradicting images. So I think the cuttlefish has five tentacles, but I'm not sure about that as I haven't played Subnautica. So let's create three tentacles ochre blue and just two more tentacles for the stomach area to attach and these will be just ochre. So we are attaching them with my modeling tool. Maybe I can even uh, link this one in, my, in the description as well. So placing it onto the plate and we are ready to go into the oven. Freshly baked cuttlefish. <laughs> I'm just removing the toilet paper I used for fixing the tentacles. And now we will use the transparent polish for the eyes and also for the mouth. But these are the only parts where I put this polish so that the eyes really look pretty alive. And well, I guess finally that's it. The cuttlefish. You know that this was my second tutorial from Subnautica and it felt quite great to create such cute character after the monstrous sea dragon leviathan. But for the next Subnautica tutorials please leave me in the comments which creation, which creature I should create next. I guess that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed two tutorials for this week. Take care and see you next week. Bye. I'm so cute. I'm the sea dragon Leviathan. And I'm the cuttlefish. <laughs> Sometimes it feels good to change your role. Oh yeah. <laughs>